Supporting the learning development of babies Babies must have opportunities to explore safely while enjoying their newfound freedom It has been recognized for some time that the first couple of years of a baby's life are significant in terms of their overall development. This is now reflected in Ofsted's framework with a strong focus on how practitioners are working with babies. This means that within daycare, practice in the baby room will be considered. While every baby room will be different, this is a good time to look at every element of practice, including resources, routines and layout. Baby rooms are interesting and at times joyful spaces. They are perhaps one of the most demanding rooms to work in within daycare. Within a baby room, there are likely to be some mobile babies intent on exploration as well as some babies who are literally starting to find their feet. Combine that with sleeps, feeds and chuck in a few nappy changes and we can start to see that putting together a baby room is like a complex jigsaw. Every piece matters. Prime areas of the EYFS The prime areas of the EYFS are the building blocks for later development. They should be central to everything we do and plan within the baby room. The prime areas are personal, social and emotional development, PSED, communication and language, and physical development. Personal, social and emotional development transitions are one of the ways in which we deliver the PSED area of learning. Through positive and smooth transitions, babies learn to make relationships and also self-regulate. Transitions in the baby room include drop-off and pick-up times, but also when staff go for breaks or a change in shift. From around eight or nine months, these transitions can provoke separation anxiety in babies, which can then impact on their learning and development. Interestingly, in the Ofsted framework there are two inadequate judgments available to inspectors in respect of attachment and transitions. Settling in the first transition that babies make will be to separate from their parents. While this is rarely a problem for babies under seven months, extreme care needs to be taken with older babies. The intended key person needs to build a relationship before separation takes place. This might mean a series of visits to the setting, with the key person increasingly playing and making physical contact with the baby. This should culminate in a few, mini, separations to check that the baby has made a secure attachment. Drop-off and pick-up times The focus for drop-off and pick-up times should be about creating the conditions for a smooth handover. Small things such as having a bench for parents to regroup, and possibly for the key person to sit next to them can make a significant difference. Easy storage for coats and the inevitable clobber that accompanies babies also makes a difference. The ideal is to avoid parents standing awkwardly by a door trying to juggle a baby and have a conversation. Communication and language babies need plenty of one-to-one interactions as this is the period in which they need to tune into the sounds of language. They also need to connect the words that we use to objects and actions. Babies will need to see actions and hear corresponding words repeatedly in order to make connections and understand meaning, and this makes everyday routines, including care routines, central to language learning. In addition, adults also need to think about creating some play routines with toys and resources, including books, for example, every time a tower of bricks is knocked down, an adult might say, all fall down. While routines are important for babies, there is also a need for variety. This is because bored adults make poor language partners. To get around this dilemma, it is worth adults moving with their key children to distinct spaces with specific resources both indoors and outdoors, for example, over to a book area or outdoors to a musical area. Interestingly, first words that can be heard from around 12 months often reflect the various routines that have been developed between adults and babies. Furniture and layout Both adults and babies need to be comfortable in order for conversations to flourish. Aim to create a homely feel with a sofa so adults can sit comfortably with a baby or two on their lap. Put pictures and mirrors on the walls at different heights. Look at the changing area and consider how it will prompt conversations. Use waterproof mats to make the outdoor space comfortable for non-mobile babies. 
Background noise Background noise can stop babies from vocalizing and hinder their ability to tune into language, so, audit the amount of noise in the room, create cozy enclosed spaces to reduce background noise, use noisy resources outdoors, for example, musical toys, or have specific times for them when they are used indoors.